All right, so before we get started, there's, as far as the Mega Gobblegums, I personally suggest you can always sub these in. This is just the best that I personally find the most useful. Of course, always shopping free. Percolic, Fire Cell, Near Death, and then for the Idolize slot, I've been playing a game with Idolize, a game with Undead, just going back and forth. I've been favoring Idolize, but that's purely because I've been carrying Idolize to the boss fight. But as um, for anyone not 100% comfortable with this Easter egg, I would say always carry near death to the boss fight. This is for solo. Um, and then you could run undead or allies. The boss fight won't be as quick as the how I'm going to do it, but with the near death you can literally go down a million times and it won't be a problem. Near death will just get you right back up. But when you're 100% comfortable, feel free to use idolize. Just um, be careful. Like, um, just be aware that you risk if going if you go down, you risk losing your um, perks. So that's a personal choice there. But first things first, try getting shopping free as your first spin. Alright, the first thing we're gonna do is get shopping free right off the bat. And then just run the same way I'm about to. I do have the actual shopping free route in its separate guide on my stream or on my YouTube. I've got it actually uh, for all maps. And the, like how I bought the gun off the wall, don't have to worry about that until you get more comfortable along with you do um you can just hit power and then just turn around you don't have to go up here and buy the bowie knife the way i just done either that way you have plenty of time to do everything else Cut up. <laughs> All right. So if it comes down to choosing between hitting that trap the way I done, or it get the second gobble gum, go for the second gobble gum in my opinion. All right. All right. So let me go ahead and pick up this trophy. That's the whole reason we bought this trap, is get this trophy right here. I correct only that. Now, you should be avoiding killing any zombies at this point. Alright, now um, there's three shield part locations. And that's what I'm about to go around showing right now. Shield part for this area will be right here. Here, right beside this shelf, or 
right here on this box. Now, there will be a shield part right here. Right here on this truck door. My collection of trinkets grows ever larger. Or it'll be sitting right here in this chair. Now the last part will be right here between those two boxes. Right there on the bottom bunk. Or right here on the wall. I correct only that I will find look this way. Now to build the shield you come down here into the, under the bunker. Wrap it right here on the table. Now you should still be avoiding killing any zombies. Come here to Dragon Command. Come to this console, and when you cut on power, this will be turn. This will um, be green. Hold X on it and turn red. Now the zombies can drop the craft module fuse. And as soon as we get one, we're gonna stop killing and start calling them in. But before I do that, right there, when you look at these um, statues, right here on this uh, arm, just shoot and it'll drop down. That'll be another trophy. Now you don't have to be 100% accurate at all. <laughs> you can do it with any gun. Just make sure you go ahead and get that so you don't forget later. Now, before, now at this point, we're gonna kill zombies until we get the craft module fuse. And keep track of how many zombies you kill. Because, let's say, for, uh, because, and it's important, there's six zombies on round one. We've killed three. And give me one moment, I'll actually explain the reason for this. And we're actually going to end this round. All right. So the reason we're keeping track of the zombies is because what we're going to do is when we call in this scroft module, we're going to kill all but one of the zombies that are left on the round. For instance, like on round two, there's eight zombies. We're going to kill seven zombies. And then we're going to let the zombies pile up on the Groth module. Because it'll spawn in extra zombies for that Groth module. And when you kill that last zombie, the next few zombies that you kill, if they're within a short period of time, like right after you kill that last one of that round, they won't count against the following round. So they're basically free kills. Alright, we got Perka, so we're throwing with those. Get rid of those. Right. So we're gonna come here, call in this tram. Alright, well, this tram. I think I'm, I guess I'm think I'm playing Dorizen Rock. <laughs> we'll call in this crop module. We'll look at where it lands, and we'll come defend it. Remember, I'm only gonna kill all but the last ones. Alright, so the next one I kill will end the round. Now, if you're trying to do the max ammo challenge for uh, completing these with them all green, you definitely wouldn't want them to, you know, let them pile up this way. Here's the final piece of a larger puzzle. A puzzle that I feel you have reached. May not understand. Uh, 
as soon as it finishes, pick up the little part that it drops and get away from it. You want to make sure that you try spinning your gobble gum each round to rotate through. That's going to be the fire cell. Alright, so when you get fire cell drop, do not just rush to a box, pop fire cell, and then try, you know, spamming it. Because likelihood is that you will go down. Like, save that fire cell for a moment and kill the zombies until you get that next crop module fuse. Don't end the round. So if you uh, get to, down to a few zombies and you haven't got it, that's when you pop your fire cell. There's too many zombies on this round still left on this round to hit the fire cell so what I'm gonna do is try getting a rough estimate of how many zombies I have left just so I can um, keep track during the craft module but I'll just hold off and hit the fire cell afterwards now the second one is not going to go to the same, like we're not going to take it to the same console. We're going to come over to Supply Depot. This is Supply. <laughs> Alright, we're going to call it in this. Oops. Now, also, the Groff module will only come to areas that you have opened. It won't, like, it won't land in any area that you don't currently have open. Don't, you don't want to hit nukes for this, by the way. Because that'll kill the zombies without making them count for the actual off module. So as soon as it finished, pick it up and then get away from it. Now, if you've gotten this far and you haven't already gotten like your perkaholic, thank him for that. You should at least go and get quick revive. I actually suggest that as soon as you've used, like finished running with the shopping free on the round one after unlocking the map to go right then and buy quick revive otherwise you know you, you always have you'll have that risk of you get knocked down you lose that shopping free all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill zombies to get the last Hey, actually, there we go. <laughs> so we're gonna leave the rest of the zombies. Come over here to tank. And when we come up here, we'll we go ahead and uh, pull out our shield here. And just blast it right there out of that bucket. And pick up the trophy. Alright, call in right there. Call in the Groff module right there. And then... Up and get out before you get trapped by the zombies running up the stairs there. Alright, it's so above me. Nope, oh, over here. Inevitably tear 
Now, as soon as this one finishes, you're going to stop killing right away. Leave any zombies, as many zombies as you can. Grab that, grab that last scroll module piece. And regardless if you have one zombie or you have a hundred zombies, <laughs> I mean, that's an exaggeration, but you know, no matter how many zombies you have, save them, come down to this console, and place those scroll module parts. And now you're able to call in the dragon right over to pack a punch very important that you don't in this round yet um you don't have to come to this specific uh dragon platform you can go to the one at dragon command or the one at supply personal preference Pretty cool cutscene right there if I do say so myself. Alright, when you land over here, come down all the way down to this very bottom floor. Come right over here. Right before you jump into the hole, look up and shoot the egg. Grab that and hurry up and jump into the sewer. Now when you're coming through the uh, water right here, just shoot that red light. What that does is that unlocks another trophy that we will pick up when we fly back over to pack a punch. Now what we're gonna do is go place this egg that we just picked up. We're gonna go place it on the map. Um, while you're at, you can go ahead and open the door because we're gonna need it open when we start doing the valve step which is what I'm actually just about to explain right after we place this egg down now I personally just place the egg here but you can place it at any of the locations around the map that allows you to place them there's multiple around the map even right there at spawn now after you place that egg just to be safe, I'd, I'd suggest just literally sitting here and waiting before doing anything else until the dragon um, uses its flame breath on the map. You can tell just to be safe by coming up to the egg and if it is, uh, doesn't say anything then the dragon hasn't breathed on the map yet. But if it says the dragon egg must cool, that's when you know that it's... Uh, that the dragons landed, lit the map on fire, blew back up. Alright, now at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find out where the end valve, or the valve step is, or where the pink cylinder is. Now the valve locations are right here. This is the valve. This is the department store valve. Right up the stairs here is the armory valve. You can come straight down the subway like this or you can just go um, through the regular way to get here. This is the supply depot valve. I'll actually just run out the normal way. Running down the the way cart there is kind of risky so to be safe you may not want to do that <laughs> especially like when we actually start valves because that'll be a lot more zombies all right 
the dragon command valve is right up here right here the infirmary valve will be right here and we actually see our pink cylinder here that's what we were looking for now that pink cylinder can be at any one of these valve locations like it may be at dragon command it may be at department store or it may be at tank i haven't shown tank i'm actually about to go show that valve but um what you want to do is you want to take note because we're going to use that in just a moment all right that's the pink cylinder valve or the pink cylinder uh, location or in valve location people call it multiple different things but mainly that's the end of the valve pink cylinder keep that in mind or take note of it and the very last valve is right here in tank now if you haven't already what you should do is pull up cranorium.com and I'll actually have a link below in the description. I actually pull it up as I speak. right and at the top you'll see where you're able to select um black ops 3 it'll have a little drop down and you can click gorod Krovi. now the link i provide below in the description i'll just have it um the full link just so it takes you directly to the valve tool but if you're just doing it based off my instructions you'll have when you click on Cranorium you'll have to click Black Ops 3 at the top and click Gorod for those that just click on the link below it'll take you directly where you need to go now what we're going to do is it gives two drop down boxes one it says select green light valve which we'll just leave alone for the moment and the second one is select the pink cylinder valve pink cylinder is what we just seen and that was at an infirmary so we're going to go ahead and put that in now so if you haven't if you saved enough zombies after doing the graph module what you can do is you can actually go ahead and do the valve step right now which is um for those that didn't end with enough zombies like me we'll have to wait and we'll do it at the start of this next round so for those that did get enough zombies you can just skip these next few minutes i'm just going to pop my uh, fire cell get my guns out of the box um i would say actually don't skip <laughs> just so i can explain why i'm getting what i'm getting out of the box but past that you can skip just um until you see me start the next round and remember make sure no matter what that that does say that it need the the dragon egg must cool you don't want to accidentally end the round and that not be cooling because that's immediately an extra round that you have to go so hit your fire uh hit your fire cell I'll actually hit it my second gobble gum or my gobble gum for this round. Just to rotate. There's really only two things I personally aim to get out of the box. And there's two things I suggest everyone tries getting. Mark threes and the monkeys. The Mark 3s are literally the most important 
um, weapon that you're gonna be using because it's how you solo the balls it's how you do the curse step everything uh, past that um, you really just want a bullet weapon for those that um, have issues with the penetrating right aiming for a sniper but um, if you don't get one that is 100% fine because you can simply use the mounted wall gun at the um, pack-a-punch and I'll show you that as I get to it Looks like I'm not even gonna get the Mark Threes out myself. All right. So it's v extremely rare for that to happen, but occasionally you will have a game that it'll do that. What I suggest is just making sure that you try rotating your gobble gums as much as you can because it's really important for you to get the Mark Threes. What I'll do is I'll actually hit the gobble gum again for only 1500. It gives me the shopping free. Mm -hmm. Hey, monkeys. I'm gonna go ahead and ride over to the pack a bunch. Ooh, uh, yeah, that's fine. I uh, should actually ride it from supply. What you wanna do as you're riding uh, dragons from each area, just make sure that you do do it from each area. You just wanna make sure that you rode the dragon from supply, from dragon command, and from tank at least once through, um, throughout your game. Now, for those that ended, like, ended the crop modules, and they had, um, much, um, a lot more zombies than I did, like, I only had two, if you have anywhere past six, I'd say, go ahead and do what I'm about to do. For those that don't, what you'll have to do is, you'll have to come, like me, you'll have to come over, and you'll have to end the round to do this step. But basically, if you have enough zombies on the map, after picking up the dragon egg for the first time and taking it over when you ride the dragon back over the second time if there's enough zombies on the map it'll spawn in that valkyrie so that you can shoot it and do the valve step right then if you don't have enough zombies like we do or i do then what you'll have to do is you'll have to end the round and then you'll get the valkyrie now this is after you originally carried the dragon egg over to the other area very important for you to carry the dragon egg over what's gonna happen is we literally just need to be down right here in this area so that when the valkyrie spawns 
you just kill it like I said in this area and what it'll do is it'll start the generator and as the generator starts we can run over to the map and start looking for the green light valve There's the Valkyrie. It'll start the generator. You don't have to press X on it or anything. You just as soon as the, uh, as soon as you kill that, jump into the sewer, and we're gonna run around and look at all the valves and look for the one that has the shining, the bright green light on it. That one. Now at this point, you don't have to keep a. Oh, actually, there's my valve, or there's my green light valve. Um, but at this point, you don't have to keep a ton of zombies. You basically just want to make sure that you have a few left on the round, or a few left on the map, so that you don't accidentally end the round. As long as you have, you know, a few so that you're safe from ending the round, you can kill the rest. You'll commonly see me throughout this, you'll see me sit there and have a ch way more zombies than I should. And sitting there trying to do a step. That's just a personal flaw. <laughs> I actually, like, I have it affect games all the time. Like, it's a bad habit. <laughs> At least um for situations like this <laughs> also a good habit for situations where it's really important for me not to kill zombies <laughs> anyways i'm getting off topic all right once you get uh find the green light valve you should still have cranorium opened up on that first drop down box where it says select green light valve you want to go ahead and select wherever the green light valve is for me it's here in armory and when you select that first choice, what it'll do is it'll give you a list of locations and it'll tell you what to set each of the valves to. Such as for me, it's set armory to two, tank to two, supply depot to one, on and on. Now, depending on where your locations are, you will have a completely different set of numbers. And if you look at the valve, you'll see where it has two three one all you do is hold x so that that bar with the um with the uh, my apologies um the bar with the circle on the end is currently facing three what you do is you just keep turning that lever so that the circle is above whatever the number is that it needs to be set to like for me, it needs to go to two. What I'm gonna do is hold X and hold X so that the two is being circled there. Now I'll go around and I'll set all the valves to what they need to be set to. Apply Depot needs to go to one for me. Hold X, hold X again so that the one is being circled. going to be two apartment store needs to go to two and then tank needs to go to two for me
Now when you select, when you set that last valve to whatever it needs to be, what you can do is go to the, your pink cylinder location and you'll see that you can now pick up the pink cylinder. Oops. Like I said, you will see me <laughs> make the mistake of holding too many zombies. <laughs> Alright, now once you get that pink code cylinder, what you want to do is come to Dragon Command and place it here in the console. Now you'll have to put in the password. I'm gonna make sure that I don't have a shit ton of zombies on me to do this. Basically, I'll kill all the fast ones and get up to having at least four slow ones. If you um, get below four, then the zombies will start running no matter how fast they were originally. You don't need these tramp or these uh, drop module fuses anymore, so you can just ignore them. Now my personal suggestion, oh, actually I can use that allies for this, now my personal suggestion is make the most that you can of these zombies as far as points, like get the most points out of these as you can, very important for um, when we do challenges and you need to spam the gobble gum some. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna come shoot these and you're gonna um, get it to say Kronos A-R-O-N-O-S Be careful that your widow's wine doesn't go off around it or your electric cherry because if you do it'll cause the numbers to spin and mess up your order and you'll have to redo it Alright, once you have it to say Kronos, you can either go ahead now and hold X and uh, input it, or you can save it for later, the way I do. It's not important either way, but when you do, oh, rip. when you do implement it correctly, you will, it'll like clear the round. It won't kill the zombies, it'll just cause them to respawn. You'll see this flash of white across your screen is how you know you've done it correctly just be careful and make sure you put it in correctly otherwise um you'll have to redo it all right now now last round is when we planted that or when we placed that and we had it um lit on fire last round so after you plant, or I keep saying plant, <laughs> after you place it there, you end the, the current round and then you go through the following round. So we placed it last round, we ended that round, and we're going through this round. So when we finish this round, we're going to pick the dragon egg up. you want to try doing is getting it so that um, next round you're able to go and pack your EG4s. That's all you want to really pack. You don't want to, you definitely don't want to pack your bullet weapon. Very important. Once you pack these, you're set. Alright. Um, let's see. Fine. I'm personally gonna use a shopping for you to do it, but if you want to use points, like if you don't have that um, mini spare shopping freeze, by all means, that that's 100% okay.
Oh, that's right. I got a uh, carpenter that repaired everything. See if I can get shopping free to pack my Mark Threes. This is just me uh, being a little bit extra. If you've used points to pack, or you are comfortable using your points to pack your guns, you can get this part. So I'll get shopping for you next round. No worries. Alright, so like I said, you can skip that little part. If you've already packed your guns. Or you've got the points to pack it on this next round. What we're going to do... Is we're going to come and at this point this is another personal preference thing but you basically want to decide which dragon or which dragon area you're more comfortable training zombies at me personally I'm more comfortable training zombies below tank so what I'll do is I'll actually call the dragon over at tank if you're more comfortable over in supply that's fine or dragon that's fine but what you'll do is when you end this round you want to pick up the dragon egg right away and then go train zombies over in the area that you're comfortable at because we're going to train the zombies until the dragon comes down and lights them on fire like he's about to do here now personally I don't have the um, points to call the dragon <laughs> But what you want to do is you want to call that dragon beforehand. What I'll do is get a three or four kills just so I can afford the dragon and then I'll run over to tank. If you're not like actively trying to get a sh um, shopping free or a fire cell, my number one suggestion is always, always try having near death active. That way, no matter what happens, if something goes wrong, you and you go down, it's fine. You'll get uh, have near death. You'll get up with all your perks, and you'll be fine. want to do is you want to train zombies until the dragon comes and breathes like this 
and then you want to make sure to kill right like uh, you can see the progress of my egg and we kill until the progress jumps over what that does is the first thing you have to do for your egg is you've got to get napalm kills or basically kill the zombies that are on fire once that uh, progress bar jumps over and you know that you've completed that set of challenges there you want to get on the dragon right away don't worry about the next set of challenges because what we're going to do is we're going to start the lockdown over here and we'll do our challenges during that Alright, so when you land here, just come right here to this console and press X. That's what will actually start the lockdown. Now it's up to you if you want to build the Margle or the Mangler helmet. If you do, you can just shoot his head off and his, then his helmet, or his helmet then his head. You just want to make sure to shoot both off. But... Uh, for as far as your challenges, your main focus at this point is to get the challenges for the egg done. And after they're killing the napalms, what you gotta do is get penetrating. So if you have a sniper, easy way to doing it is to press left to slow the zombies down by shooting the uh, yellow. And then. Just shoot them right through. Now, if you don't have a sniper, or like I do it with a shotgun, and I, I mean, I personally even do it with a BRM. As you see, that yellow bar over there by the dragon eggs jumped over. Um, as soon as that finishes, now you're ready to do the napalms. But if you don't have the sniper or the um, shotgun, any of that. All you have to do is wait until the lockdown opens these windows and you just grab that wall gun right there and you uh, when you get on it you just turn all the way to your right and just spam shoot it within five ten seconds you'll have all the penetrations done once you get those that's when you do the melees now for the melees, you don't have to specifically melee with a sh um, with a knife. I personally will just because I have the Bowie knife. But if you want to use your shield, you can. And uh, you can also even use the shield blast. Pressing right trigger. That still counts for the melee kills for the egg. Done. Now at this point, you can literally just sit there in the Mark 3s and just finish the lockdown. Now when I upgrade the shield and the monkeys, I also go a like I personally prefer to do that during the lockdown. And what I'll do is I'll add a separate guide um, later on showing how to upgrade the shield and how to upgrade the monkeys and all that. I personally just don't bother um, a lot of the times just to save the time other times I do it just to uh, just to show people uh, that are watching the stream now if you, if you haven't pulled monkeys that's also fine but you, you just want to try getting on before we go to the boss fight
to discover. As soon as the lockdown fully finishes, come over here and grab your dragon strike. Make sure that you, if you haven't, that you've got that trophy out of the toilet. Alright, that's what we shot when we ran through the water. When we went through the tunnel. When we, uh, the sewer. When we first ever jumped in. Alright, but after you do that lockdown, come down here, hold X right there, and place that egg, and we're gonna do this. A uh, small mini lockdown right here. Now you can't do this mini lockdown until you've got those egg challenges taken care of. That's why we've done all those during that last lockdown. The reason we do them during the lockdown is because otherwise we would have to use real zombies on the map. And it would cost us zombies, it would cost us points, and have a high likelihood of going an extra round before we actually manage to finish. Alright, now when that lockdown ends, just come up here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna end the current round and then we're gonna end the next round so that we can pick up our egg if you need to jump over to the regular map for any reason you can I'm just gonna save the points by sitting over here and you do wanna try saving what points you can uh, so that if needed during the challenges is you can spin the gobble gum extra uh, multiple times but what's really important is through this round and the next round that you somehow manage to pack these mark threes because you won't then pack a punch before you start the challenges
Right. Remember, do not pack your relic regular bullet weapon. For me, that's the dingo. I'm just packing the haymaker to be a little bit extra. There's our near death. Basically, through challenges, when we start challenges next round, we will only want to have either near death or our undead slash idolize, depending like which one you've personally ran. All we're gonna do is we, as soon as this round ends, we're gonna go down and grab our egg. into it. So this is the last zombie or two. What I'm gonna do is come down here because as soon as we end this round we're grabbing this egg. Grab the egg. Now at this point, we want to avoid killing zombies as much as possible. We want to save all the zombies. It's, it's important, otherwise you will fly through these challenges. Uh, you will fly through these rounds during the challenges. <laughs> Sorry, my English is not working today, guys. <laughs> now, come here and hold X on your bottom challenge. What it does is it gives you your Gauntlet of Siegfried or your mini dragon. And after you pick that up, you can also come right up to the very top floor and you'll be able to get your dragon wings. That's one of the reasons why we made sure to ride every dragon. Now, I'm about to pull out my Dragon Strike, which is um, what we've done the lockdown for. You press right on your d-pad to pull it out what I'm gonna do is lean over this rail and um, place it on this puddle down between supply and armory and that'll give me one of the last two trophies that I need to start challenges now if after the lockdown if you came over to this area of the map instead of setting over there the way I did you can do this then you don't need to you know um, hold off the way I'd done Like I said, I just didn't come over here previously just to save a few extra points so Just place it right down there on that puddle And by the time you get down there to it You'll see the trophy Yep, right there Got that. Now once you've picked up your um, gauntlet of Siegfried What you do is come into the bunker Press uh, LBRB to pull out your mini dragon. Press left trigger and melee, and then call your dragon back. What? Then you can get that uh, last trophy that you need out of that safe right there. Now, I haven't input the code here, so I'm going to go ahead and put, put that in. Password accepted. Access content. Uh, if you've done this earlier, that's fine. You can just get to just coming over here and placing all your tram or all your trophies. Proceeding to Ascension Phase One. Ascension data absent. 
Locate missing code units to proceed. That's the trophies we've picked up throughout this game. Now, what's about to happen is when this light turns green on this console again, you can also listen to the dialogue um, between the your character and the robot or computer. What's going to happen is when we hold X this next time, it's going to give us one of the challenges. And the challenges are, and this isn't in any particular order, it's Gersh, Bombs, Valkyrie Escort, Mangler, Brawl Module, and then there's the very last one, which is the Lockdown. The Lockdown will always be the very last challenge, but the rest will be completely random. There's no telling which challenge it'll give you. You will know as soon as it gives it to you. Um, for bombs, you'll see the screen start flashing. For the Groff module, when you look at the map, uh, the console here, it's basically a map of the map. <laughs> for the Groff module, it'll highlight one of the uh, dragon platform areas, either dragon, supply, or tank. For the Valkyrie escort, you will hear the Valkyrie spawn in. It'll be at spawn, but you'll hear it. Um, they'll mention something about a malfunction Valkyrie drone. Like, I'll specify it as she says it. Um, the Gersh... Um... At this precise moment, I cannot think of ex the exact term she uses for the Gersh and the Mangler, but I, like, I will point that out when she says it here. Alright, well, let's get it started. It than anticipated. Phase one complete. Your performance was Just a personal expected. tip, make absolutely Definitely. sure that you Definitely. either have undead or near death always proceed. for this. Proceeding this Ascension Phase 2. Alright. As soon as you see that right there, you see the whole screen start to flash and light up. Pause your game. This whole guide is focused around solo. So this will be different in multi like co-op. For co-op, I literally have one word. Snapchat. <laughs> with Snapchat, you can literally record yourself reading off the bombs locations and snapchat will play it over and over and over back to you these way but for solo ignore that you you absolutely should not use snapchat for solo as soon as you see the screen flash like that pause your game pull out your phone or if for some uh, reason you don't have a phone available pull out a piece of paper and a pencil or pen. Now with the phone, literally pull out, go to your camera app, video, and literally just record, start recording and unpause, and let it play. I personally, I'll do the recording idea. So what we'll do is we'll unpause, like we'll start our video recorder before we unpause to be safe. Unpause. Let it give us all the locations. And then we'll pause our game again. Pause the video and what we'll do is go to the video. And literally start watching it and just go through it in slow motion. Because we can pause it as, we, uh, as it shows one bomb location. Literally unpause our game, run, hit that bomb location, pause our game, use our phone to like watch the next bomb location. Unpause our game, run to that next bomb location, hit it, pause our game again. Literally just one bomb at a time. There is absolutely no shame in doing it one bomb at a time. I mean... I've done it millions of times with my whole stream watching. 
just to be safe at this uh another tip i would like to say is just to be 100 percent safe make sure you have your near death for this now for those that don't have near death um you're self-med but make sure you have that for this unless you're once you're comfortable and you know it's less of a priority but you dang sure don't want to try learning this like this without it i mean the way i'm telling you to do the bomb step it's it's honestly hard to mess it up this way but that way if you have near death no matter what if by some accident something goes wrong like i said you'll get up with all your perks everything will be fine um make sure you do not have any widow's wine make sure your guns are reloaded because you don't want to go start to hit a bomb it reloads your gun and either it hit the bomb or not hit the bomb and you think you know it didn't hit it or it did hit it so you hit it again and it not actually or, or it count even though you've already hit it and bam you blow yourself up like you don't want something just completely stupid like that to happen i say that because <laughs> i've fo been focusing on my stream and i've literally had that exact same thing happen before i mean that was all my fault but that way you know you avoid that situation yourself all right well let's go ahead and do this bomb step And I apologize, I've just realized now that I should have gave a heads up as to where the bombs themselves are. I will show as I run through this, and I'll make sure to, you know, point out and explain where they are at. And like I am sorry that I didn't point it out before this, just to give um like just to walk through it beforehand all right so the i'm going back through my video and it's literally armory first um so when you video this what it'll do is really fast it'll like that um it'll highlight all the areas and then you'll notice that it'll get significantly slower and it'll highlight it'll like it'll start highlighting one at a time then that's when you that's uh, how you know where the bombs start all right so for me like it like i said it ran through them really fast and then it starts going slowly so for me it's not armory sorry for me it starts at dragon armory and then department store dragon armory department store so dragon is right up the stairs i'm right up these stairs and there's the bomb here on the wall old x you'll hear it beep and then go run to your next bomb make sure you have your mark threes pulled out armory is right down here just to be safe i'm gonna double check again since I'm talking, I don't want to accidentally have mistaken something. Right here in the wall in front of me is Armory. Yep. All right. So it'll be, I need to go from Armory to Department. When you hit it, you will hear it beep. That's how you know you've got it. Run away. Don't double click it because, I mean, that, that's, that will blow you up. Oops. Me sitting there explaining, <laughs> talking about blowing himself up. It had me skittish to hit it. All right, the department store one will be all the way on the first floor, behind the stairs here. All right. Now, if you like, you need to 
The whole reason you have the Mark 3s out is so that when you're running, if you need to run past some zombies, all you have to do is left trigger. It'll slow the zombies. You can just run past them. Because like I said, it's really important to try saving, to try not going through a bunch of zombies because it's unlimited zombies. The zombies count towards the round, but it is unlimited zombies. So you will fly through these if you just kill. Alright, so dragon, armory, department, infirmary, supply tank. Alright. So infirmary is going to be... When you go up the stairs here, it'll be right here on this pole. Double check, where are my next ones? Like I said, it's better to be safe than to try being cocky and mess this up. Alright, now I need to go back to supply. Now supply is just going to be right here in the entrance to supply. When you walk in, it'll be right here on this wall. Um, believe the la only thing we haven't hit is tank. Yep. Now we're going to go hit tank. Now the tank bomb is going to be um, up in the same room that the gobble gum machine is in the tank. I'm up the platform here. Pull this left side and right here on the wall. When you hit that last bomb, it'll clear out all the zombies. Now, if for any reason you, like, if you get stuck by zombies and you, um, get slowed to the point where you don't think you're gonna get all the bombs within the time, all you have to do is either, all you have to do is come out into one of these areas, like, either in front of, um, Dragon Command or the area between tank and um, infirmary or this is literally the whole reason why I build the uh, dragon wings is if you got the dragon wings come right there hold X and it'll instantly take you to the pack-a-punch area or another simple way is just to go to the very front of spawn like just out in spawn in front of the um, department store any of these places, if the bombs go off, they won't down you. Like, it won't do anything to you. All you'll have to do is you'll have to go into the next round to start bombs again. Anytime you fail a challenge like that, um, what you'll have to do is you'll have to end whatever round you were on when the, round, when the challenge failed. You'll have to end that round, and next round you'll be able to start it. And it'll always give you that same challenge that you failed before anything else. So I'm gonna grab a shield. And then I'll go start my next challenge. So I just heard the Valkyrie spawn in. Now when you hear the Valkyrie, and in just a second, it, she'll say the actual quote so that you know it's the Valkyrie in case you didn't hear it. Um, as soon as you do know that it's Valkyrie, this is the point where you sh really want to have either idolize or undead. Um, in plain sight even works if you're desperate. You appear to be in danger. I have located a malfunctioning Valkyrie scout, previously trapped in temporal space. Retrieve it for analysis. Do it. Do it now. All you want to do is once you get your idolizer undead, is come to the very far end of spawn. 
Now this can be done without idolize or undead. All you do is make use of the left trigger of your Mark 3s and if possible monkeys. But that's more I mean that's more um demanding. Now don't be careful shooting around this because you can do damage to it and you don't want to because if you like if you kill it it'll fail their um, challenge all you do is literally just walk with it to back to Dragon Command Second, I'm about to pop the second idolize. Yep, right here. I mean, three idolize is more than enough to make it this whole way without ever letting it uh, come off. But I've just saved it that way if needed. I have one. All right, when the Valkyrie gets to the top of the stairs, right above that grate, pull out your shield and blast it. What that does is instantly finishes it, as you see. Alright. And I've just realized I did not actually point out what she, what the phrase is that she says. It's a malfunction Valkyrie uh, drone. Malfunction Valkyrie drone, sorry. All right. It just took me a bit of, <laughs> took me a bit of thinking, but I got it. All right. Let's see what our next challenge is. An interdimensional All right. So it's highlighting just one of the dragon uh, platform areas. Just currently doing dragon command like it may be tank for you or supply for me it's just dragon all we're gonna do is just come get a, oh, back here on the catwalk and use our mark threes to protect this rough module basically the same thing you do on round one or the first few rounds of the game just kill everything Keep that protected. If you want, if you need to, you can pull out your um the dragon strike, which I actually don't have because I just realized that we're still on the same round that we picked up the dragon egg on, and you get the dragon strike once every round, or if you get a max ammo, it'll re refresh it. As soon as it finishes, like pull out your dragon, pop, pop bumpers, press left trigger, the dragon will fly down there and get you the piece. As soon as it lands up here with the piece, pull your dragon back so it doesn't kill a bunch of zombies. Pick that piece up, come down, and give it to the weird talking robot. They're <laughs> done. All right, let's do what the next challenge is. An anomaly has materialized. The anomaly An is the Gersh. What you have to do is you have to run around and you have to listen it for it. Coming through right here. Oof.
What's over here? Where is it? Oh, I've actually, uh, damn. I've actually never seen it there before. Just have to go around and find wherever that Gersh is. What you do is this. This is why you want your pack to work through Did you shoot it the way I just did? Oops. I actually let it slip up. That's what I get for not finding it right away. Weird. Not moving. Oh, here he is. Another place I've actually never seen him before. Hundreds of times I've been. What you do is you, you shouldn't let him move the first time. But when he starts getting close to the end of his quote, you spam right trigger. That's all you do. You don't use left trigger, like you don't make the black hole. And you can just use left trigger around you. Or if you have an eyelid, you can pop it. So that the zombies don't bother you. I've been trapped in the void for so long. Will I finally be free? But like I just done, I mean, if you shoot it like that, um. Before it moves the first time, it won't move and it'll just instantly go to the second uh, little phrase that he says. And when he starts to slow down on his talk and he starts to end that quote, start spamming right trigger again and he'll instantly finish that third one. And it'll, he'll, like, he'll tell you stop, stop. And that's when you just run the dragon because it'll be done. Then you just have to wait for it to get here. Thank you for your cooperation. There's literally the nothing game better game than the pack mark threes for that part. Wait, wait, what is happening? What are you doing? You said you would help me. Do not be concerned with the anomaly's fate. Information extraction is a mostly painless process. So the only thing, only challenge that it hasn't given is the Mangler drone, or the, yeah, the Mangler step, not Mangler drone, <laughs> is the Mangler step. And what's going to happen is uh, when we start this challenge, you'll hear a Mangler land on the map. What you need to try doing is listening to to see if you can pinpoint which area you landed at 90 percent of the time it will be tank or over by supply so, like um that's all you want to do occasionally you will have it um actually land towards the apartment store but that when he does land over there, it's basically when you run to armory, run up um, towards where the box spawn location is, and that catwalk is actually the same catwalk that I um, used my dragon strike when I leaned over the rail and called my dragon strike in to pick up that trophy earlier during this Easter egg. That same catwalk. 
you will find him coming down that catwalk. That's the only, only time like if he's lands in um the spawn department store area, that's where you'll find him. Otherwise, just try listening, and it'll be either depart um supply depot area or the tank area. When you run to whichever area you think you heard him at, when you find him, you will know that it's him because he'll have green eyes. Regular manglers on the map, they have red eyes. Just be very careful. Um, undead is extremely useful for this part because what we do is we shoot his uh, the arm that he actually does his big old blast with. It's his right arm, but when you look at him, it'll be your left. What you do is you shoot that arm off. This is the whole reason you do not want a packed gun so that you don't accidentally kill him. Because if you kill him, it end like it fails the challenge, you have to go to the next round and redo it. But when you shoot that arm off, he'll start running after you. Otherwise, he'll just literally just walk and trying to do, trying to transport him as he walks with all the zombies running. I'll just say this, I've literally never done that, ever. <laughs> like, that's insane. <laughs> um, for the mangler, you cannot use idolize. Because he'll like, just like a zombie, like he won't see you. Undead's great, I personally won't use it. But when he starts running, just turn around and tr lead him to dragon command here. Alright, I heard him spawn over here at Supply. And he'll either be coming up right here, or he'll be coming up the, right here. Yep, there he is. So be very careful. Shoot his arm off. And just lead him to Dragon Command. Now if you run too far away from him, he'll turn around and he'll run off. All you do is lead him up here. We're gonna lead him right here onto this platform. Give it a second and it'll clear the map. That was the last challenge aside from the uh, lockdown challenge. Now the lockdown challenge you'll know because when you uh, do all the rest throughout the challenge it'll give you a little, this little key card what we need to do now is go over to pack a punch area if you need to you can ride the dragon over here but since I've got dragon wings I can just instantly you know teleport over here like this come down to the middle floor or the second floor come to this console and hold X what's gonna happen is it's gonna be a lockdown just like we've done for the dragon egg except it won't be any zombies it'll just be uh full out panzers or not panzers full out um manglers and they will be hauling ass <laughs> now what i personally do is um before anything make sure that you Fill them up until you fill up your gauntlet over on the side, your little mini dragon, so that you can call it. We're not going to call it, but we're going to make sure that it's full so that we can for the next part that we need to do. Now either you can set up in the corner and you can just sit there through this whole lockdown using the Mark 3s to keep killing, or just a personal way I do is I kill once I've got my um once I've got my gauntlet ready to be called I get down to one mangler
shoot its arm off. And literally just train it down here. That way you don't have to sit there wasting all your ammo. Killing everything. And if you'll notice that progress bar on our screen, it still fills up. So all you do is sit here training the zombie until it completely fills up and finishes. And then you can kill it. Pick up your uh, that key card and go back. Now in a four player game, honestly, I always suggest doing this just because freaking it's rather hectic once you get to the Oh uh, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so that doesn't usually happen. <laughs> it doesn't take damage over time, so that was weird. But it, uh, what I was saying was in a four player game, I always use this method just because it gets really hectic. Um, because as with the regular lockdown, once you do each side, it does it where it's all, or like every side has the windows open and the manglers come through, and there's a shit ton of, of manglers. Oof. Uh, this is about to finish anyways, so I'll just... I'll just deal with him having his arm. Alright, he's finished. Killing. Grab your key card. Jump out. Like, literally, the voice tells you go ahead and take the key card back to Dragon Command. Now, we literally have one step before the boss fight, so at this point, like. If you haven't already, you should be aiming to get your near death. And personally, like I said, just kind of run, uh, idolize. But uh, unless you're really comfortable with the boss fight, always go with the near death. It's better to go down on the boss fight 100, 200 times and have 100% safety than it is to avoid going down but have a 10% chance at fucking up that makes sense I'm right there place that key card just sit here it's about to let you get the power core from her are you forgetting machine what of your promise to help us find the power core? Power core is provided. There you go. Grab that. And now we just need to run spawn. And this is the point where you need your gauntlet, your little mini dragon. you do is just come here get up against the wall all your dragon and press left trigger you'll see him like all like start flapping his way his little skinny way over <laughs> you just don't call him back until you hear Nikolai say yay power core and then you can call him back Just come here and as soon as you get up to Dragon Command, it'll clear the zombies and then we'll be able to enter the boss fight right here. Try getting your monkeys before doing this, but at this point, make sure you have your fire cells. Fire cells. Make sure you have your near death. <laughs> make sure you use your fire cells during the boss fight, guys. 
All right, once you enter the boss room here, come right here, this button, and just press it. You'll see the uh, giant laser beam over here. What that does is it's gonna get um, Nikolai in his little robot there. All you want to be doing is just circling the map. You don't have to worry about the zombies, just make big circles. Well, what's gonna happen is he's gonna shoot this dragon after it blues on the map. When it blues, you know, pull out your shield. Now when he shoots, sir, um, what you'll first do is you'll have to shoot it on the left side. You'll know when he shoots her and it'll light up this big yellow spot on her. He jumps up. He lands and now Nikolai's about to shoot her. He shoots her right there. He'll throw a monkey. And right there on that, well it's not even yellow, like orange spot. You spam the white trigger with your Mark 3s. Don't, don't bother using anything else. Literally, again, same as Curse, nothing compares to just spamming Mark 3s. Whoops. Dang, Nikolai stood in front of us. Alright, so when he lands this time, gonna be right there on our right side this time. Well, uh, Nikolai just shot it. Throw a monkey. And right there. Got my trigger. Uh, she's gonna fly up. She's gonna throw a few. Whatever you call those that had us. <laughs> those things. Meteors. <laughs> Literally the same thing. Just make circles on the map. Hang out. Don't like overstress it. Just keep making circles. Now this time he'll shoot her and you'll have to shoot her in the neck. So we'll throw a monkey. We'll just shoot her right there in the neck. You don't have to be like 100% accurate or dead on. I'm gonna come grab this max. Though we know not why, voice from beyond may seek to ensure our now if you look uh you, you'll see those two yellow stripes on his chest what we have to do is we have to shoot both of those with and we're just gonna again use the spam and right trigger with our mark threes you have to shoot those and then you have to shoot the both of his shoulders there's nothing mark in his shoulders but uh, if you literally just shoot each of his shoulders a few times, you'll get it done. But if you want to be, be, if you want to actually understand it, when you're shooting him, you'll actually see his shoulders actually, um, not fully blow up, but, um, you'll see the behind, uh, you'll see the animation for it, um, killing that part. If that, um, if that makes sense. Uh, once you shoot those four locations, right there on his crotch, I'm sorry, there's for lack of a nicer word to say it, like his crotch will light up. Like it'll light up yellow. Shoot it, and then it's game over. Rival, we are grateful for your help in defeating the dragon. But now, Nikolai. We must ask that you lower your weapons. The evil that has corrupted this world can only be vanquished if you surrender to us. I just realized that I, I haven't focused on like I haven't had to focus on it this way in a long, oh, a, in a while. That's the reason I didn't originally think of it. Um, for his shoulders, what you do is, um, to actually see it is. Um, as after he does this little cutscene, what he do, what it'll do is he'll go around the map, and occasionally what he'll do is he'll have his one of his shoulders lift up, and he'll have this yellow um, rod, basically this yellow piece 
lift up from his shoulder and it'll start shooting stuff at you you shoot it it'll destroy it and you'll actually see it get destroyed like i'd shoot it without it actually popping up is the reason um it's better that way but not all like as far as um visually seeing it you can just let him um use that ability it's fine That easy. Like I said, with the near death, uh, if you go down a bunch during that, it's absolutely fine. Like I said, no worries. Heck, when I run near death, I will always go down. One out of ten times, I might pull it off without going down myself. No shame. All right, I'll shut up and actually let the you guys listen to this cutscene also. Kill me now? I am sorry, Nikolai. I wish... I wish there was another way. But know this. In my heart, I share the same pain as you. The pain that you have buried and blurred beneath an alcohol-fueled haze. Yes. The pain of your own memory. You love lost everything else has been delusional fantasy that distance you from painful truth you know what I speak of you remember before the bombs fell before she was taken from us some things are forgotten for a reason it is done. The souls have been collected, Maxis. We will see you. Now, as long as you're not Richtofen, you'll hear okay. Dr. Monty talk Nikolai, now. Dempsey, Becchio, I'm only talking to you right now. Richthofen, you can't hear me, so you he's probably off doing his own thing right now anyway. No change there, I suppose. The good news is, you're nearly done. It'll soon be time to come to the house. But this plan, this big plan, a lot of it's been riding on Richthofen. Before he caught up with you guys, he spent years traveling, searching out just the right versions of you. The ones who held the key to closing off the other dimensions. I think you know by now exactly what that entails. Point is, he's kind of surplus to requirements these days. He's been in the house for ages, but we don't tell him. Anyway, uh, it all makes sense when you get here. You'll see. Honestly, it, it, it's going to be fine. Oh, shit. I completely forgot to introduce myself. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm Dr. Monty. Hello. So nice to see you all. 
Now, if you're doing this for the first time and you're wanting to get the credit for doing the Easter egg, all you need to do is make sure like I finished that boss fight on round nine. We exited the boss fight and it's round nine right now. All you need to do is start round 10. Or if you finish the boss fight for say on round 14, come out and start round 15. And once round f that uh, round starts, you can dash safely then. And what will happen is you won't lose any of your gobble gums and you'll st uh, keep the credit for doing the Easter egg. That way you don't have to lose anything. I personally don't need the Easter egg, so I'll go ahead and get out of this game. Um, uh, hopefully I explain this well enough um as you guys know this was purely focused on solo low round easter egg um if there's anything i need to focus on more when i do this next guide or sets de rev just um f leave a comment below i could use any thoughts opinions any feedback it would all be appreciated hopefully this helps you all to start doing gorod's easter egg at a lower round thanks for watching guys